How has ThinkTech achieved greater impact into the community? Chapter 3. Achieving Impact When we applied for a grant from the Hawaii Community Foundation, they told us we needed to establish that we had impact into the community to qualify. So we set about trying to do exactly that, and we applied for a grant from the Atherton Family Foundation to identify, organize, and deploy innovations that will help us achieve greater impact. Over the course of the following year, we worked hard to develop ways to achieve that impact. We had hoped to engage an impact manager, but the grant wasn't big enough to enable us to afford that. So we asked our existing staff to develop our presence on various social media platforms, including YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. We published our videos on those sites, and we stepped up our engagement on those sites with a view to increase our presence on them. At the same time, we expanded and improved daily contact with our subscribers and viewers. We added functions that would promote the benefits of subscription. We added a variety of features to our daily and weekly email advisories, including news links, quality graphics, brain food, articles, pop-up opera from around the world, and recommendations of movies to watch. We added a monthly election of a distinguished guest. And a monthly survey. We published the results of the election and the survey to our viewership. And we expanded and improved the functionality of our FileMaker database program, which has been so helpful in keeping a record of all our shows, hosts, and guests. We added a number of database tables and layout to take this application to a completely new level, and it now has functions that improve our ability to search through our thousands of videos, to communicate with curated subsets of hosts and guests on specific subjects, to analyze all the locations they come from, to examine our global reach and impact. We know these innovations are not likely to expand our viewership overnight, but we are proud of them, and we believe that over time, that is, over the next year or two, they will have considerable effect on our views, viewership, subscribers, reach and ultimately our impact in Hawaii, on the mainland and elsewhere. In any event, we will continue to encourage creativity in all ways possible and to look for new and unique ideas to continue the development process. These efforts are only part of the story. For us, the most important thing is the quality of our shows and webinars, and we have worked hard to improve production values and subject matter content, and to make our hosts and guests look and sound as polished and professional as possible. More than that, we have encouraged them to reach out to everywhere in the world. We're still working on that all the time. It's all a matter of global networking. As a result, our shows cover subjects and guests from one end of the globe to the other, and we are very proud of that. In fact, none of these efforts are over. We work on them every day, and we sleep on them, and think of new ideas, every night. We meet and discuss the possibilities and the implementation of new ideas with our staff on a weekly basis. We assign projects to everyone who works with us, we encourage our hosts to do the same. And it works. We have achieved great vitality within the organization, and it is clear and apparent to people outside. People come to us on a daily basis asking to be included, and we try hard to find ways in which that can help. We were faced of course with challenges in connecting with these remote locations. We learned how to deal with global time zones far outside of Hawaii business hours. We learned how to solve broadband issues, as well as video artifacts and audio aberrations. We learned new troubleshooting techniques, new program controls and plugins in vMix and Zoom that helped us achieve acceptable production values, even in remote locations. It was a learning experience but after a while our engineering staff became quite competent at it. At the end of 2019, to reduce costs we decided to move to a smaller and more efficient studio space in the Finance Factors Center at 1164 Bishop Street. We found that the smaller space was actually much more appropriate to our operation, and a great benefit for our staff. We didn't realize exactly how advantageous it would be until a couple of months later. Then came COVID, and we found that the smaller space was a great blessing. Because of our experience with remote production, we were well prepared for the pandemic. 
In early 2020, we started doing all our shows on Zoom. This turned out to be much more convenient for our hosts and guests. They didn't have to come to the studio. It was also safer and more convenient for our staff. They could do their work with less interaction and more time to innovate. All things considered, our move was a very lucky break. The virtual geographical reach we have developed over the past few years gives us a great opportunity to cover more national and global issues. We have organized new talk shows and webinars on these issues with hosts and guests from around the world. And we have expanded our email advisories to promote these new productions. In short, we want to deliver content beyond just the things people would like to hear about. We want to deliver content about things they do not know about, but should. It's all part of our long-standing mission to raise public awareness in every way we can. That is the end of this chapter. Some of the dedications in this chapter are as follows. Cynthia Tai, Carlos Juarez, Nicholas Sussman, Carl Baker, Carl Ackerman, Peter Hoffenberg, Gilbert Nuagira, Rupmati Kondakar, Michael Davis, Mark Shklov, Joshua Cooper, Kartiki Mishra, Avi Soifer, Chang Wong, Tim Apicella, Marco Mangelsdorf, Ken Rogers, Shackley Raffetto, Russell Liu, Andrew Zimmerman, and our Executive Vice President Carol Mon Lee. Thanks to them all and to so many others that helped us during this period of our development. More to come, of course, in the next segment. Stay tuned for our next chapter, New Transitions. Thanks for watching. Aloha.